So this is my joying head unit that had a 4G uh, option installed on it. Um, when I got it, uh, the 4G appeared to work in that it would read the SIM card, but uh, I had no way of actually getting any signal. It was at best one bar and I couldn't actually do any data transfer. Uh, and I found the problem was that um, these, uh, so the antenna goes on the back and um, it comes through this fly lead and then you sold it onto the um, main chip here. Now, it looks like this chip is just like a pre-made chip, I think, from Intel. And then um, Joying just gets the circuit board, the blue one, solders this on, and uh, that does most of the stuff. So, uh, it's going to be a bit hard to see because it's very small, but uh, I'll try here. Basically, no, oh, okay, that's all right. So, this, for instance, is the GPS antenna, where they've got the uh, outer um, the outer braiding of this coax on this point, soldered on that point, and the uh, inner core soldered on that point. And this one's for the Wi-Fi, I, I think. Um, and this one here, that says PRI for primary 4G, that's the 4G antenna. And this wasn't connected at all, this is secondary. 4G antenna. Now, I connected this thinking it may help. It doesn't. Uh, the secondary, I think, is for a secondary SIM card because the uh, system does reference like SIM 2, but there's no SIM 2 tray. So uh, we can ignore this. But uh, this is the main one here. Now, I actually um, messed up and ripped a trace, so I had to use my microscope and solder on this very fine point here uh, to get 4G. Uh, antenna to work, but basically what we have um, since I removed the port here I'll use this side as an example basically there's the this jack here, which you could just push a, uh, like the fly lead onto but I guess to save an eighth of a cent and not put that fly lead, that connector on the fly lead, uh, they're soldering the leads directly on like uh, over here. Now they've got a square pad so this is the primary one here. So there is a square pad for the outer braiding and a round pad for the inner core. Now, they're soldering it on there and theoretically that should work. However, if you follow the, um, the trace from this round pad, um, and here, here's, I'm gonna use this example again. Um, the trace goes to this connector and you would think that it continues to go under it and then down this line here because that's what the antenna should be. Now if you check continuity you'll find that this connector is connected to that trace like it should be. However, this solder point basically just goes to there and stops. It's not connected to anything. So what happened over here on my primary antenna was I had no connection on that um, on this trace here it went to uh, push on connector like that and then there was no connector no, no antenna pushed on then there was a trace that was connected to nothing going to here where the antenna actually was so what I've had to do is get some wire and solder it between the trace uh, the trace over here and the point there and during my testing I kind of ripped off the connector and that's when I ripped the trace uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, all you have to do is what I've done over here, which is uh, some wire uh, on the test uh, on the uh, solder point, and then solder it onto this side of the jack. Uh, so because you're going to be doing it on the primary one, you'll be on the the jack on this side. You'll be connecting that bit of wire and looping it around, and then putting it on the solder point there. Um, alternatively since that jack would still be there if I didn't mess it up um, you could probably just buy a new fly lead that had that connector on it push it on and you should be fine um, but basically that's one of the many issues with this head unit